The fifth approach that you can take when finding the right business for you to start is to look at what industries or products and services are either booming or that are here to stay. Now each and every year and each and every few years, there are, there are different industries or specific industries, there are different products and services that seem to do better than others. So if you look at the market, if you look at different uh, business news, resources. So if you look at the market or if you look at different business news resources, you can look to see what industries or what products and services are you know, doing well and that are projected to continue to do well in the near future or even in the distant future. And you can align your business concept with those industries or with those products and services. Looking at multiple resources, a few common industries that I see that are recommended or that are projected to continue to do well is technology, AI, green energy, uh, real estate, and property, and data science. Now Forbes.com also released the article expressing the top five industries that they find are doing the best right now. And those industries include construction, healthcare, info, information technology, travel, and personal services. Now, consider all those things in mind. You want to look at you know, the other aspects as far as you know, what your experience is or what you might find an interest in or a passion in and align yourself up with one of these in, with one of these industries that are going to continue to trend and continue to take off and grow and develop. You know, if you structure your business in a industry that is going to continue to develop and continue to grow, then you are setting yourself up for more success. Now keep in mind that when you do join an industry that is growing, that is doing significantly well. You're going to have a lot of competition. You're going to have competition that is already established, and you're going to have a lot of competition that is joining that industry because other people will also have that same strategy as far as joining an industry that is growing or that is doing really well. So keep that in mind. However, it is very possible that for you to get established, for you to build up, and for you to also take a stronghold in a part of that industry as well. So keep that in mind and that's a perfectly good strategy for you to have. Now while you're going through this process, something that you also want to keep in mind is whether or not you want to sell directly to consumers or if you want to sell directly to other businesses. Because depending on the industry, you can be a part of you know, the industry as a whole and be an entity that takes on that whole industry. Or you could be a supplier or a product or a service to somebody that is already in that industry or to other people that are getting into that industry. So you could be a B2C, which is business to consumer, and you know, your services and products could be geared towards helping out your consumer or it could be B2B and be geared towards actually helping out and providing a product or service to other businesses in that industry. Now, now speaking of products and services, one thing that you want to keep in mind is there's different products and, and different services that come into training and that fade in time. So you want to be mindful of what that product or that service lifespan is going to look like one good example of this is the fidget spinners. When they came out, they were the highest thing out there on the market. There were you know, a ton of different companies that produce them, that offer them, and sell them. Now, if you got into that industry or if you got into that product in the early stages, then, or early enough, then it's possible that you did really well for yourself. Now, if you waited towards the tail end of, the, of that product, trend then you, know, you may have invested money into that product but didn't see the returns because by the time you got the product then it was already out of trend so that's another approach you want to look to see uh, 
items that become a trend and maybe it's just a quick business that you start up that you offer that product or that service get your foot in the door and you could offer that product and service while it is still a trend make money and then you could use that money to invest in your next business venture and another approach to the products and services that I like to recommend is that you, know, you put on your products and service lens when you go to let's say you go to a general department store uh, for example like any store in the mall or Walmart or a store like that or even looking online to like Amazon or Alibaba and look to see what the different products are that are available and that are on the shelves or online and look to see what items have a limited different uh, options look to see what items are in the trends look to see what items people are going to consistently have to purchase Skincare products are a good example. There are you know, numerous providers and companies that provide skincare products. Think of how you can join that market, right? Think of you know items like that where your customer or consumer will purchase that item and use it and then have to go back and continuously repurchase it. And think of items like that that have Correctly, you have to you know create the product or the service uh, to a good quality, and you have to sell it and market it to your consumer, and that could be your business approach for the business that you start. Keep all those things in mind.